Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Blue Dragon on hard mode on the Xbox 360. The last time, we managed to escort the, uh, or the Talta villagers fra to the Gibral Castle, Gibral Town, Gibral whatever area, this place. Eh, let's see, I guess we're still in, oh, Castle Town, okay, there we go. So that makes it easier to remember the whole name. And then we explored a little bit of the uh, Castle Town, and then we got a few accessories. And now we're going to go explore the rest of the town, and we're going to go uh, meet up with the king, which, by the way, we have to do before we're allowed to rest up at the inn. So, we got a pretty good amount of story time stuff to do today. So, let's go ahead and get all that started. Most of these guys don't say anything interesting, I don't think. Like, most of them just kind of don't really say a whole lot, and she has a weird accent. I mean, there's a couple people that have, like, funny little dialogues, but for the most part, in this area, not so much. Okay, so they apparently have their own problems around here. Yeah, the doves are little bastards. Not for any particular reason. They just kind of are. How you doing, bud? With a spiky hair. Oh, I ever talked to you, didn't I? I like this girl right here, the little short-haired girl. Wait, is it her? No, it's, it's one of the short-haired girls around here. Okay, uh, you with the accent, go away. Let's see, where is that short-haired girl that I was gonna... Oh yeah, your shadow is so impressive. So impressive, lady. Then again, I'm not a big fan of my shadow myself, since, well, I wouldn't wear it. But, to each their own. Alright, where is that short-haired chick? Oh well, screw it. Let's check out the item shop, see if they got anything good in here. By the way, make sure you check every pot, every little thing, just all that stuff. You can go around the counter back here and you can uh, check all this stuff too. Uh, you can't go in this store, like, ever, so don't, don't even worry about that. And let's see, I don't think he offers too much new around here, but let's go ahead and pop on our negotiation skill. Oh, I already have it on. Okay. Did I not take that off in between last ep last episode where I was uh, in the uh, Talta camp? Eh, I guess not. Let's see. We got some medicines. We can buy some mega magical medicines. Those are nice. We can buy light crystals now. That's really nice. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of those. Because those will be good for, like, if you need to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, revive someone and then still do some still do some healing for everybody too at the same time so that'll make life nice and easy and let's go ahead and grab a few uh, shadow crystals too there we go that's good stuff uh, Phoenix Talons we got enough of you stone be yeah we've got pretty much everything we need from here I mean we could buy some more mega medicines and Nah, I think we'll be good. Maybe, maybe a couple mega magical medicines. There we go. Alright, and there's not a whole lot else in here. By the way, uh, search those like little... Uh, I forget if you can search each one, but I think you can search like those little displays with like, the crystal in them. Um, I don't think, I'm not sure if you can search all of them, but I know you can search a couple at least. Was this a short-haired chick I was looking for? I think it was. Come here, shorty. Yeah, she's funny. She she thinks we want to date her. Eh, she's cute, but I prefer long hair. That's just me. How you guys doing? The Gorbo around this area are hooligans from Olimaru. Well, that can't be good. Okay, so they're all congregating in this house here, huh? And who are you? Ooh, you're a Gorgo. Uh, apparently, Gorgos are really hot. Well, at least the uh, the females are. And the males are big buff bastards. Yeah. Uh, we can't actually go too far in this house right here. Like, uh, you can't get any further than those two pots on that side. And I don't think you can make it to that tree on this side right here. Uh, I already came in here earlier and... They'll, they'll just uh, 
tell you, yeah, you gotta, you're not allowed to be in here pretty much. I mean, they won't do any damage here or nothing, and you can come in as much as you like and get kicked out, but you're just not supposed to, we'll be able to get the stuff from that house eventually, just not anytime today or tomorrow or the day after. Let's see, I don't think this is actually useful in any way, it's just a really crappy map. And I don't think it ever serves any purpose actually now that I think about it. Well, I have no problems with you big giant people, especially since you got those uh, big giant hotties. That's always nice. Ah, okay, that's what it was. I was okay, I, I was confused. So these tall guys, these guys are the uh, the Gorgos, and then those other guys in the house over there, those are the beast folk. Okay, I should have known that, but I forgot, I guess. How you doing, kid? Um, I'm not sure if this would be considered downtown or if the the shop area would be considered downtown. I'm not really sure. I, I would guess the uh, the shop area, but either way, nope. Neither neither place seems like it's all that bad. All right, in this vase workshop over here, uh, let's see. You can talk to this guy right here, and Mara Mara will pop out and ask how he's doing. I forgot that he had that little cutscene, but yeah, he basically knows Mara Mara, and uh, he apparently likes to hang around the vase shop around here for some reason. Sheep Chive Apprentice. How you doing, buddy? You're only an apprentice potter, huh? Okay. And this guy will make us a vase at some point. And how you doing, lady? How expensive can a vase be? I mean can't be that expensive, right? I mean, they're fairly common for just about any time period, especially like these uh, more these more fantasy type time periods or medieval-ish type time periods. I mean, they seem like they'd have a lot of use. So they can't be too expensive to go to make. I mean, you could probably make your own out of clay and a kiln. I mean, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the easiest thing in the world, but you'd be able to do it. How you doing here, family? Ah, so it's just really expensive, okay. This is the room they're looking at. Let's see if anything uh, interesting is in here. I think it's pretty much empty. House by the fountain. Yeah, it's got a nice little uh, mirror and good bed and stuff. I like it. You want to sell it to me? I already t I, I talked to him earlier because I forgot he said something, and he was like, "Oh, does the does the lady want to buy the house?" Uh, referring to Kluke. I don't know why he thinks she is the only one that wants to buy the house, but yeah. I think it's a nice little a nice little house. It's got plenty of room. I like it. All right, I don't think there's really anything else down here to do. Let's see. There's nothing in the base shop. We already went to the. Uh, Houses over here, I do believe. Yeah, the Gorgo house and the item shops. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else to do over here. Let's see. How you doing, pal? Dog poo? I can't even believe it. Uh, yeah, just a little too high brow for me there, pal. Well, you got that nice fountain out there, and you got the moat over there, and I'm assuming there's water outside. All right, let's see if the accessory shop has anything good for us. The rare accessory shop. And apparently I forgot to search this area yesterday off screen. Oh, well. Ooh, SP plus two. Let's give that to Shu. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, make sure you examine the uh, like the little flower pot, and then also the the little case right there, because those count as two separate items. Item. And I don't think you, I don't think you can get to that flower pot. It's just too far out of reach. Nothing. Nothing. And we're gonna be able to spend our medals here pretty soon, actually. Uh, um, 
the start of disc two, which is coming up after the next uh, major dungeon in the area, which is coming up like yeah within the next couple episodes. Experience was ten, I think. Uh, Kluke and Mara Mara need that. I think they have the lowest levels right now. Let me make sure. Yeah, they have the lowest levels, not by a whole lot, I don't think, just by enough. Let's see, 130 and 300, yeah. So they're just barely behind. And you guys need your generalist class to be ranked 15, and then you're good to go. I forget if you guys have anything to learn. Yeah. I'll look it up off screen because I don't. I don't think we're going to be getting into any battles today at any point. I think today's going to be mostly story. All right, let's give that to Shu since you're still a level 13 generalist. All right, and let's see what the accessory shop owner is going to sell us. I only want customers who I deem to be the most sophisticated to adorn our accessories. Our brand has an image to has to maintain once you've made it. Wait, so you're not going to sell me any accessories? Well, that's a real bastardizing way to treat your customers. That sucks. Yeah, he's not going to let us buy stuff until the start of disc 2, which is a real bastard move on his part. But then again, I I've said it before, I'm not really too big on the uh, Gibral accessories since they just offer stat boost in the one spot. So the part-time girl who works there is cute, huh? Let's check her out. Yeah, something about books too, but yeah, we'll worry about that in a minute. By the way, make sure when you come into these areas, like you turn around and get these uh, little air these little uh, things by the door that I that I missed because you'll come in and the camera will have you up here and sure you might notice like these pots right here but then somehow you might miss like these ones back here I mean it's not gonna like make the make or break the bank if you don't get them but they are there for you to miss all right so you guys have some good accessories huh I think this guy will sell us stuff And we have to master the generalist class, which we will be doing. Just actually, um, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna grind that out either in the next dungeon or the, uh, or after the next dungeon, just to get it out of the way. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be grinding up any, um, I wouldn't be grinding up any levels, just the uh, generalist class to, just to get it out of the way. And let's see, yeah, we could buy the Gibral necklace and the Gibral earring for defense and magical defense. And they're not really all that bad, but at the same point, I think our current accessories offer just better deals. Let's see, like, uh, let's see, we got, uh, let's see, we got, this one reduces uh, the poison status, that's, that's always good. Uh, this one resists earth, so yeah, there's no point replacing those. Let's see, uh, death earring, that re uh, you can't get instantly KO'd, and plus it offers a decent amount of MP. Water necklace. You get water resistant powers. Fire necklace, fire resistant, wind, wind resistant. And then same here. So there's not really any point. I mean sure you get a sure you get a little extra defense out of it or whatever. But let's see, uh, where is it at? I know I have a Gibral something or other in here, right? Yeah, see. So you would get that little bit of extra defense or magic defense. But really it's not really that big of a difference i mean look the death earring it already has the 75 magic defense that the uh Gibral earring has i think it's 75 oh 85 okay so it's a whole 10 points less but still it's just not worth it in my opinion oh this must be the uh, cute girl they were talking about well she's cute but she apparently has a uh, an attitude problem did i already get that yeah i think i did all right, so let's talk to the spell shop owner, see if you guys got anything new here. Ooh, we got Revive. That's nice. I personally prefer the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the Phoenix Talons, but that'll be that'll be useful later on, I guess. And cancels the target charge. Um, I forget, I didn't really use that in my, uh, in my previous playthroughs, but here we go. We got Watera. That's, so that's going to be very useful coming up. Uh, Slowa, that's always good. 
Uh, let's see what else. And Shielda, there we go. Much better. Uh, I didn't really use the the cancel spell in my normal mode. Um, it, from what I, I never, I never use. Like I said, so from what I understand, it, uh, like let's say you're charging up a uh, water spell, uh, you can you can cast this at your character who's doing that, and they will, uh, well, not cast it. I think it also works on. Um, like enemies, like if they're going for like a, uh, like I'm not sure if it would work on like a seal eating tigers. I would think it would, but I never actually tried it because well, normal mode was pretty easy. So I mean, it probably does that, and I'll probably try it out this playthrough. But we'll have to find out together, I guess. And there's a few books in here for us to read. Let's see, we got let's see one of the magician books, Val and the Wizard Part Seven. There we go. In the castle, there's going to be a bunch of uh, books to read. All right, and over here, there is part eight, I do believe. Oh, part six, okay. So I kind of read that backwards. Oops. And yeah, we're not going to find the last parts of the uh, books for quite some time, actually. So it's going to be a while before I'm able to put the the whole stories together and with that I don't think there's uh, anything else in here to do I forget what else that other accessory shop sells besides the other Jabral accessories I know he plays a, I know he plays like a storyline part later but uh, we're not we're gonna have to worry about that later Okay, you see this uh, nothing right here? You can't get to it right now because this old lady's in the way. And there's actually a couple, uh, a couple nothings like that that are, or a couple items are that are blocked off by people. Uh, we'll be able to get those pretty soon, just not right now. Sure, buy a souvenir. I'm not gonna stop you. Cafe Gibral on top of the hill. Okay, let's go check that out. And I do believe that's over to the... Okay, if a king's not your type, then who is? Uh, let's see, I think the cafe is over, yeah, over by this guy. Uh, unfortunately, we're actually not allowed in. We can try to go in. But we're not legal yet. So, we're going to have to come back when we're barely legal, or a little more than barely legal, or something. And yeah, see, we can't get to those nothings back there. And if you talk to these guys, they'll just, uh, they'll just say how grateful they are for you helping them get to the, the village. I forgot that some of the villagers had stuff to say like that, so I already talked to them. Oops. But most of them don't have a whole lot to say. Yeah, let's see, what else can we do around here? I know there's a few more treasure chests to get. Let's see, let's check out in here. I think this is, I think this is one of the areas. Yeah, I, li I like this area. The bodyguard, the bodyguard's office. This place is great. Uh, let's see. And again, make sure you don't forget that little thing right there. Uh, let's see. Treasure chest. There are uh, two bodybuilder elixirs in the area, and a banana. I forget what the heck that does. Um, all right, where is that banana? I'm not really sure what that banana does. I forget if that has a purpose. But either way, you can get uh, two bodybuilders elixirs in this area. So let's go ahead and put those to use. Let's go ahead and put them on our mages since they have no HP. And also, I like I like that now they now have a uh, multiple of five as their HP value. Uh, let's see. Is there another treasure chest in here? I don't think so. Um, anyways, they got they got some books back here, and they're they're fun little reads. 
how to obtain beautiful muscles. Tight pants make your upper, upper body stand out. You must never train your lower body. And watch out for thick legs. That's a uh, fantastic advice there, guys. Fantastic advice indeed. Playable. Did I check this towel? Th okay, I did. And then there's a another book over here. Again, on how to obtain beautiful muscles. Don't neglect skin care. Take plenty of vitamins. And minerals tend to flush out with urine. So, basically, make your bladder suffer in order to get as much uh, minerals from the... From the, or vitamins and minerals from your body. Okay, makes sense, I guess. Playable. Not something I would practice myself, but okay. How you guys doing over here? So are you going to protect me? I, I, I don't know why they have little sperms for masks. I don't know, but uh... Good for them, I guess. Um, I'm sure she'll be able to find a body when she needs one. I don't think she's going to need one for a while, but she should be able to find one at some point. So you're taking roids. Isn't that a kind of defeating the purpose of being a bodybuilder? Your back will be your life. It's a golden rule for all bodyguards. And if you can't see your body part that you're building, and that's good, okay. Um, this is funny, it said over there, don't train your lower body, but I guess the hips don't count as your lower body. Eh, I guess they kind of count as like the middle body, I guess. I don't know, I've, I've just always liked this area. It, it gets even better after the next dungeon, but we'll have to check that out later. Hello, Gorgo hottie. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, we can't go outside right now. All the, uh, well, the, the gate that we came in by is locked, so we can't leave. Oh, well. Let's see, what do we got over here in this treasure chest? Some metals, very nice. Like I said, we'll be spending those pretty soon. Yeah, chicks kind of do that a lot, so don't even worry about it. How you doing there, old fart? Well, as long as you have something to eat, you should be good. Let's see, where is it? Uh, I opened a treasure chest by accident over here. Um, yeah, this one right here. Uh, this one has three metals in it. Nothing nothing great, but it's there. I mean, I'm sure you're not going to miss it yourselves, but just in case you wanted to know what was in there. Let's see, was there anything in the inn that I actually cared about? Um, no, there wasn't uh, There wasn't anybody to talk to, and there wasn't any uh, anything really good. All right, I... After all these nothings, I think we should have 600 by now, so let's see if we can't go get that uh, 600 accessory from this guy. It's a pretty good accessory, too. So do I have 600? I think I do. 600 of 56. Beautiful. The Champion's Belt. This is a very nice little piece of equipment. It's got uh, some very good stat boost on it. Let's see. For... Yeah, well, he already has the Spring Breeze Kerchief for right now, but uh, the Champion's Belt is very good. It's got a 75 HP and MP and a 10 Agility, so that's very nice. Uh, it's slightly better on the HP right now for the uh, in the Spring Breeze Kerchief and slightly worse on the Agility, just because the uh, Spring Breeze Kerchief is a percentage-based, but if you don't have the DLC items, then this is still going to be very good, and it's also really good at the MP. Uh, when, I, when I get another uh, accessory slot, I think I'm going to put it on Mario Mario since he doesn't have very much MP at all. And he could use it for like his uh, magic sword attacks. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty good accessory. Alright, and that's pretty much everything in the main part of town. So now we can go ahead and explore 
a little bit of the castle. Uh, we probably won't get all of the castle done today because it is very big. But we'll get a little bit done at least. How you doing, guys? Okay, so we must be the honored guest if we're allowed in the castle. Very nice. Alright, and yeah, there's still going to be plenty of stuff to search around in this area. Uh, can you search the lamppost? I forget. No? Okay. Alright, what do we got over here? Anything good? Item. Ultra medicine. Eh, good enough, I guess. Yeah, what do you know? There is the warp pad. Very nice. Now we can come back here anytime. Uh, I don't think you can warp out right now, actually. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're going to tell you, yeah, you can't warp right now. Let's see. Okay, that's activated. Good for it. Oh, I guess it's, uh, oh yeah, unable to warp from this location. So, so yeah, we can't warp right now. Hang on. Alright, let's see what you got over here, guys. I'm guessing these guys were villagers. So you're going to be into older men when you're younger there, kid? If she was a villager, I don't remember a whole lot about her. I think you have to look for her dog later on for a side quest, but she's not really important at the moment. And I thought that was a treasure chest back here. Oh well. You guys gonna fly away? You're just gonna be like pigeons in New York where you can bat them with the handbag and they'll just kind of sit there for a while. I don't think there's anything on these sides either. You can get over here, but there's absolutely no reason to get over here. I mean, I guess it's nice that they actually detailed the little area over here, but there's just no purpose for it, I guess. And that's a uh, whole lot of soldiers. I'm gonna guess these are all the guys that saved us from the, uh, the tigers. Yeah, they're pretty powerful. Well, not really super powerful, but they're all good with uh, bows and arrows, I guess. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Okay, so they're being all secretive about something, and they refuse to tell me what's going on. Gotcha. Alright, so we can either go upstairs through the main stairway, or we can search off these little side areas. Let's do the side areas. Let's see, let's come around back here. Is it this side? No, it might be the other side. One of these staircases has something hidden behind it, I think. Just gotta remember which one. Did I already talk to you? The other guy told me to go upstairs, right? Oh, basement lab, okay. Okay, uh, I guess the, uh, thing that I'm thinking of is somewhere else. Alright, let's check out the uh, basement lab first over here. Power swap dart. Yeah, I never really use those too much, but they're there if you want to use them, I guess. And apparently it's going to be blocked off over here with a beast folk guard with a giant ass axe. So, the guys with the 30 foot tall Shadows of Doom aren't allowed in the secret laboratory. I guess that kind of makes sense because we might destroy stuff by accident. Let's see what's in here then. 
There's gotta be something fun around here for us to do. Ooh, it's the kitchen. How you doing, chef? He kind of looks like the Monopoly man. That's uh, a whole lot of assistance there, bud. All right, what do we got in here? Anything nice? And that is a whole lot of nothings right there. Grand Emerald, not as good as a flawless emerald, but oh well. Yeah, you guys all kind of look clony. And it's not just the outfits either, it's uh, you guys just all look like them. So you're gonna you're gonna turn uh, short and fat with the little white outfit too eventually. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm gonna check all this stuff in this room later off screen, but uh, see if there's anything useful in the fires. Sometimes the fires have a uh, like stat boost. Why? I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna search all this stuff later off screen because if I did it all on screen. Well, it would take forever. There's a, as you can see, there is a ton of little stuff to search in there. Alright, so, let's see. Which way should we go first? Left or right? I'm gonna guess this guy was a villager too, but again, I don't remember him all that well. None of the villagers really had a uh, big role. Alright, let's go to the right first. Let's see what's up here. I think they I think they kinda connect. Yeah, they just kinda connect. Okay. Alright, so how you doing, bud? Alright, we already went to the Great Hall. There's nothing for us to do down there. So No, we're not here for too much trouble. Let's see, what's in here? This is Senior Minister's Quarters. Okay, uh, we actually have to talk to him at some point, so we'll do that real soon. And what's over here? The Blade Master's Waiting Quarters. Alright, let's see what's in here. Well, obviously, I mean, you're not, like, superhuman. We said she was a, a mercenary beforehand, right? Yeah, she's pretty hot. I've always liked the uh, white silver hair look. Why? I don't know. I just find it nice. Well, in anime and stuff like that, video games and uh, little old ladies with the white hair, not so hot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like a gilf as much as the next guy, but uh, eh. Sometimes, sometimes not every day. Ah, this is the Prime Minister guy we gotta talk to, and as you can see, he has a lot of books. Each one of those has a story. Yeah, that is a lot of stories right there. Well, what do you know? The old man who loved dogs is someone important. What do you know? I never would've thought it. Okay, so we gotta head up to the throne room to meet with the king, huh? Usually, uh, prime ministers or chancellors, whatever, in video games are kind of, uh, grumpy, but this guy appears to be nice. Alright, so let's start this, uh, slightly daunting task of, uh, reading all these books. And I think that'll be the end of the episode. So, I'm just gonna be quiet for, uh, for the rest of the reading. So, guys, I will see you guys next time when we explore the rest of the castle. And you guys have a good night.